Hey guys, welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel, whichever it is for today, and it is Red Velvet time. So, uh, as I've said many times, and I'll pr probably continue to reference it, uh, I checked out a few songs from Red Velvet earlier, well not earlier, maybe in the summer last year, um, Peekaboo being one of them. I was like, wow, vocally talented, absolute banger, Peekaboo was on my top 50 of year one, for anybody that doesn't know. And um, and then I didn't check them out for a while, and it, it wasn't like, oh, don't feel like checking out Red Velvet or whatever like that. It's just because I check out so much music on this channel um, that, you know, I was just discovering new, new stuff all the time. And then the Killing Voice happened. And Killing Voices for me have been very significant uh, for what I check out on this channel. So to give you an example, uh, the reason the Ultimate Mamamoo ranking exists is because of the Killing Voice. Uh, the reason I'm in the Taeon rabbit hole is because of the Killing Voice. Um, I checked out an IU track or two, maybe, before the Killing Voice. No, actually, I think I checked her out for the first time doing the Killing Voice. Fell down the rabbit hole for IU. Checked out a few songs from EXO uh, and was very impressed. Checked out the Killing Voice, rabbit hole for EXO. Uh, what else? Who else? Idol was different because I've heard a lot of songs from Idol. Uh, and that was a great different experience with Killing Voice where I was, it was just jamming to music I love and the songs I love. Um, was there anyone else? Uh, I've checked out some wonderful other Killing Voices too, uh, where I'm just like in awe, Infinite, Infinite being one of them. Um, still more I need to check out. But what I'm saying is that with Red Velvet, it was a catalyst of being like, why on earth have you not checked out more Red Velvet since? And there was, there's a, with Killing Voices, there's always a track or two or three, <laughs> in the case of Red Velvet, where, you know, I heard a few songs that were on the Red Velvet Killing Voice before, but there was a few songs I hadn't heard, and I was like, oh, I need to check out that. And then another one came on, I was like, oh, I need to check out that. Uh, Automatic, I needed to check it out, I checked it out, it was amazing. Kingdom Come, I needed to check it out, I checked it out, and it's in my top 20 uh, of the year one, uh, top 50 I did. Uh, last year. Adore it. And then there was another song, You Never Know, which I absolutely loved. May make the top 50 year two. Who knows? Who knows? And then there was like one song, which I think is the only one left from like that. that I still enjoy to hear the other, I, I'll still enjoy hearing the other ones I haven't heard yet from that Killing Voice. But there was another one where I was like, oh, it's got a lovely sound to it. And it's got a lovely vibe to it, the sound of that song. And it was one of these nights. So I've been wanting to check this out for a bit. I thought this would be the perfect song to check out next from Red Velvet. So, this is one of these nights. Seven years ago, wow. Yeah, I, I'm so glad I'm finally checking this out. Gorgeous sounding on Killing Boys. Oh. I don't I think I've only heard the first chorus. Wendy. Great shot that is. This bit is why I wanted to hear it. That chill RB. So, this point forward, I've not heard anything. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, the goosebumps. I could have been happy for that to go on like a good few minutes more. Oh wow, it's it four minutes thirty. It just went too quick, too quick for me because I just didn't want that one to end. Um, that was beautiful. It took, it took a shift that I wasn't expecting, like that, like that bit I mentioned I loved, which is in the snippet of the Killing Voice. That kind of second half of the chorus. It, I, I'm shocked it didn't come out in the second chorus. I'm glad it made another appearance. I would have been a bit gutted if it didn't because I love it so much because it's so like classic R&B sounding. Um, but I, that shift I enjoyed it at the same time. It was like, ooh, oh wow. I, I like normally shifts like that where it's the same, I believe, lyrics. I don't know if it was the exact same lyrics. It was Wendy doing that section. Um, they're normally left to change it up for the last chorus. So it was interesting to use it for the second chorus and then to bring that original second half of the chorus back in for the third and final chorus. That was very interesting structure. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. Like, they all sounded great. I noticed that um, this song felt to me, I don't know if I got it wrong, um, it felt very much a Wendy, Sulgi, and Joy song. Um, Yeri and Irene, um, you know, there's some beautiful harmonies and stuff going on throughout the song. I don't feel like they were featured too much. I could be wrong there. I don't know if it's just because I was hearing their vocals and I don't know, like, there's voices in Red Velvet I can recognise already, but at the same time, not at the same time other members. But um, I don't know if they were singing and it's just the camera wasn't on them. So, like, I didn't put the voice to that person. So you guys can let me know if they were actually singing more than I thought. Um, they were in those beautiful harmonies, though, because Red Velvet harmonies, bro. Uh, but yeah, beautiful vocals. Red Velvet, dude. I mean, that's such a basic, obvious thing to say at this point. Um, and the melodies are gorgeous. The chorus is... God, I, I really like the first half of the chorus. The second half of the chorus just melts me. It melted me in the killing voice. It melted me still here. But I'm so happy that the rest of the song lived up to that snippet that I loved in the killing voice. I always love to hear that. Um... And yes, yeah, beautiful song. That's a chill playlist. Absolutely. Like, so, oh, just so soothing. Melted me, as a lot of Red Velvet music does. Um, oh, they're so good. They're so good, dude. They're so good. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. So that give me a great idea. You want, to see me, you want me to see more Red Velvet on the channel? I think I said that right. Um, and please let me know what to check out next uh, when it comes to Red Velvet. And please subscribe because plenty of Red Velvet on the channel already in the Red Velvet Reactions playlist. Plenty more on the way, so hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night. Whenever you're watching this, please take care. Much love.